And would you be doing that to your Phantom? Well, you might just be doing it to your Phantom if you want to upgrade. Hey YouTubers, it's Back Focus 11, coming to you from the car on the streets of San Diego. We're heading over to drone dealer Easy Drone, taking my DJI Phantom 2 up there, and we're going to be doing a little bit of a modification to it today. Okay, I'll admit, all the buzz about the Hero 4 and the awesome 4K capability got me hooked. But I saw some posts here on YouTube and other places on the web that showed you you must grind down your gimbal plate in order for the Hero 4 Black model to be attached. And as of the date that this video was made, DJI has yet to issue an official stance on the compatibility of their Zemus gimbal with this new Hero 4 camera. This is Sean Daniels, owner of Easy Drone, and this is the same place where I bought my Phantom 2. Hey Sean, how are you? Good. If you want to open that guy while I'm taking this guy off. Now the question, will my Hero 4 Black fit my Zenius gimbal? Unscrew these two two millimeter screws. Here. Make sure before you take the other one that you unplug this carefully. I normally pull it straight out. You don't want to rip that ribbon cable. And then same thing here, two millimeter bolt. Once it frees, the GoPro will just drop right out. Compared side by side is much bigger. It also actually sticks out a little bit more. Um, so that's the big hindrance. You see when I set it down right here, when I place it in, it's fine, but you see how I press the memory button? As soon as I put pressure on it, mm -hmm. so it's, it's, you can press this still. Oh, it's, yeah, it's held down. So this is gonna need a little grinding. Yeah. So my Hero 4 Black is not gonna fit the Zemu's gimbal without a modification. So this is the spot that we wanna grind right here. I want to uh, your eyes. Yeah, I want to them up. That was pretty quick. Yeah, it's it's super simple. We'll see if that works. Sometimes it doesn't work. Best way to do this: turn it on. You can see where it's ground out, and it fits in there almost perfect, but did we grind enough? It looks like it did. See? So, very simple, um, not time consuming, just got to make sure you're accurate with it. Now it's time to set it up in 4K mode. Our video, 4K at 30, field of view is wide, that's the best video resolution that we can get. The Zenius gimbal held the Hero 4 Black with no problems, and it tilted up and down just fine. Alright, we got our GoPro Hero 4 loaded up on my DJI Phantom 2, and now we're going to shoot some 4K video for the first time.
are thinking about shooting 4K video for the first time yourself, there's several things you need to take into consideration. One, you need to have a decent computer system that can handle such large files and process them when you edit them. Also, your memory card on your Hero 4 needs to be a memory card that can support the output and the input of the 4K video and needs to have enough memory space. So if you're using an old computer, you got an old memory card, 4K video is not going to work that well. It's a new technology and you got to kind of be on the cutting edge. All right, well there you have it folks. I think that will conclude this video. If you're thinking about going uh, 4K with your DJI Phantom 2 and the Zemuse gimbal, it's definitely a go. Get the GoPro Hero 4 Black. It works excellent. Uh, GoPro has made leaps and bounds. I remember when the first GoPro came out, it wasn't even HD. Uh, look what we got now, 4K coming from this little thing. And also for Jim Bowers, YouTube screen name Demon Seed. Thank you for inspiring me for starting this channel. It's all your fault, Jim. Demon Seed. Check out his channel. He's got awesome videos. All right, that's it. This is Back Focus 11. See ya! We're out here on the freeway driving the city streets. Yeah. Back Focus Mobile. We're heading over to San Diego to go to Easy Drum. Son of a bitch. <clears throat> Redo.